cool. So some of y'all know my face, some don't. Um, I'm Micah Nichols. I uh, I purchased US Lead List from Lance and Terry about three and a half years ago. So this is kind of our first uh, live event. I wanted to you know uh, bring David. He brings a ton of value as far as just you know getting the, the the boring stuff out of the way so we can deal with the more enjoyable components of our business, which is profits and uh, and the next deal. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean it's nice to see some of these names. I'd love to integrate with you guys personally at some point, but for the most part, I'm handing all this off to David, and uh, he is going to uh, put on a great show because I I know him enough to to know that that's what I can expect from him. <laughs> we're going to do some dancing, and we're have some girls come through. Um, <laughs> no. Oh man, I appreciate it. Absolutely. So yeah, well, let me let me kind of share my screen here, and we can see if we can do some things here. Let's see. I did. I did some updates on my uh, my computer this morning. I got a little nervous that it wasn't going to be finished by, by the time we got started. Um, but no, Micah, thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate you having me on. I'm definitely honored to be the, the first guy that you brought in. Um, yeah. So my name is David Olds. I'm the owner of Easy REI Closings. And if you don't know who we are, we're the the nation's largest virtual transaction coordination company. So what does that like? What does that mean? What we do is we help investors and wholesalers all across the country really get their deal from the moment they have the contract signed all the way across the finish line. And we, you know, we were talking a little earlier with Tim, you know, all deals have all kinds of, of different, different issues, right? With, with us lead list, what are we doing as investors, right? First off, what's our job as a, as an investor or wholesaler, hopefully you come at this and your, your job and you feel like you want to help people, right? So that's the first thing is we're out here trying to help people. But how do we help them and make money? Well, we solve problems. And typically, the, the bigger the problem right, that we can solve, the deeper the discount that we can get. And that's that's fantastic, right? Because then we can turn around and either portfolio those properties or sell them off or novate them or you know whatever your exit strategy is. But typically, getting to the end there, right? even if you're going to close on it yourself, we have to solve all those title problems, right? So if it's, you know, probate or inheritance or death, divorce, bad tenants, you know, taxes, whatever it is, somehow we have to clean up, clean up all of those issues. And, you know, I'll show you something a little later. And I frequently tell people like, there's a lot of work involved in this and you can do it or I can do it. But if I'm doing it, you've now got time to, you know, to go out and, and do more business, right? Make more money. Um, and that's, that's hopefully the goal of everything that we do. But but for me, you know, I'm again, an investor for 22 years, which is two decades, a little over two decades, which is a ridiculous amount of time. But, you know, for me, it wasn't always, you know, sunshine and roses. You know, when I started, I really, really, really struggled with, um, you know, growing my company. And I think, you know, if you don't mind, indulge me for a minute. I, I, I get on these and everybody always wants to tell you all the about all the Rolexes and Lambos and all that stuff. But one of the struggles that I really had was, you know, figuring out in June of, of 09, when I moved to Chattanooga, how to take my business and really grow it. And I'll be honest, I thought the way that I grew it was just working hard. You know, maybe I could work 18 hours instead of 16 hours a day. I could definitely do seven days a week, right? Because I'm, because I'm driven. I have that hustle mentality. But, you know, what I realized after a couple of years, and we, we were relatively successful, but there was a limit, right? There was a limit in how much that I could actually do every single day, you know? If, you know, if you're juggling balls, there is just a point where you can only keep so many up in the air at a time. And, you know, it, it really caused me some struggles. And, you know, the, the problem that I had that, that, you know, really literally kept me up at night, right? It was the probably the same question that a lot of you have, or at least have had in the past is, you know, what was the, what was the secret to working less and making more? I tell you, I was so tired of hearing that on these webinars, you know, this kind of this like fantasy, I felt like that these gurus would get on there and talk about, right? Like, how can I possibly work less and make more? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. I don't have time to do the stuff I've got to do now, right? And how is it that some of my friends or people that I saw on the internet, like, how were they growing their companies? And like, literally, these guys are on vacations and on cruises and traveling the world. And for real, a 14-hour day was a short day for me. And you know, because I'm doing the marketing and I'm, I'm doing acquisitions and I'm doing dispositions and I'm doing title company stuff and I'm picking up EMD checks. And I'm just running all of these things around. And, you know, how, how is it that they could scale? And, you know, I just felt like I was, there was just a, a wall that I was hitting, you know, and, you know, beyond that specifically to transactions and, and closings, 
I can't tell you, I, I, I've, I have so many terrible stories of dealing with title companies where, you know, I take my contract in and, and I'd be all excited. And I was, you know, back then it was maybe an eight or $10,000 assignment fee. And I'm like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. And uh, they're like, oh, Davey, this one has dead people. You're going to have to probate it. And literally I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm taking these, these contracts, I'm just, you know, just crumbling them up and, and throwing them away. And, you know, 8,000, 10,000, 6,000, 14,000, you know, these, these, these deals are just literally disappearing because the title company told me they couldn't get it. They couldn't get it closed, you know, but then on top of all that, you know, I'm like, well, I can hire a ton of people, but how do I do that? And, and not literally just break, break the bank. Right. Cause you know, you can always hire your way out of, out of any situation, but you know, in the beginning, I didn't have that, that kind of money. And then as I grew, I'm like, well, what I'm making, I certainly, I certainly want to keep. So what I'd love to share with you guys, if you, if you allow me is I want to talk to you about how to, how to grow your business faster, right? I'm going to condense down some of the, the lessons that I've learned in, in 22 years of, of being an investor and, you know, talk to you about them. You know, some, some things like, you know, simple is scalable. The simpler you keep your business, the more scalable, um, it's going to be, and, you know, reducing, you know, how to grow, right? Reduce your costs without sacrificing quality. What does that mean, right? We understand that, you know, to scale up your business, we're going to increase revenue, but to do that, we have to keep our expenses low because what, what's our profit? Our profit is that in-between amount, right? So if you do $900,000 a year in revenue, but you spend 850 to get there, well, that's not a very good business. That's a very expensive hobby, right? So we want to make money, but we always have to watch our expenses. And if there's, you know, there's a handful of things that I did terribly wrong when I became a full-time investor. One of them was not keeping track of my KPIs. Um, the other one was, you know, not keeping good books and having a great accountant um, because, you know, those will show you where you're making mistakes in your business. Um, you know, I'd love to talk to you about, you know, how we can help you have, you know, have these closings go off with it with, you know, I don't want to say without a hitch because, you know, what we do is is very straightforward, but, you know, we're dealing with people and, you know, that's one of the things that can, you know, sometimes throw a wrench in the works. I, I have this piece of loose leaf paper that I tore out of a notebook years ago and I wrote, this is a simple business, right? Do not overcomplicate it. It's people that make it challenging, right? But, um, you know, how can we help you take some of that off of your plate so that you can really focus on the things that matter? Because the reason we got into this business, right? All of us, we read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, we watched a webinar, we got on YouTube, you know, we went to a RIA event, whatever it was, and we fell in love with real estate. And real again, real estate is amazing, but we didn't get in this business to work 20 hours a day. You know, that wasn't the reason we got in here, right? It was because we had a dream, right? Like we wanted to, you know, make money to retire, or, you know, maybe you wanted to spend, you know, mornings with your, your kids and make them breakfast and drive them to school or pick them up at two o'clock or, you know, take your spouse on that special vacation or open an orphanage in South America, right? Like whatever it is, you know, it's very difficult to do that if you're, you know, if you're working that many, that many hours a day. So here's how we help you, right? Um, again, we're the nation's largest uh, virtual transaction coordination company. Um, but we handle all of the, all of those tasks between you and the title company. And, you know, what I tell people is, you know, close your eyes, right? Close your eyes and think of the worst deal that you've ever had. And if you haven't done deals yet, you know, close your eyes and think of the thing that you're most nervous about. Cause I remember when I was starting, there were a lot of, you know, things that, that, you know, gave me anxiety, right? Are these contracts legal? What am I going to do? What do I say to this attorney when they call me back? You know, who can, who can handle this closing? They said, find an investor friendly title company. What do I do? What do all these things mean? Right? Like think of those things. That's just a regular Tuesday for us. You know, we'll, we'll talk to you here in a little bit about um, the, I, I don't want to sound braggy, but like the, the, just the, the, the volume and the number of deals that we do. And you'll see that, you know, this is, that's just normal everyday stuff for us. The only thing we do here right? We don't run a wholesale company anymore. We don't do coaching. We don't do anything. You know, the 20 plus people that are in our business all just come in every day to, to help you. And our goal, right? Our goal is to help you grow, right? We want you to do more deals, make more money and have more freedom. So whether you're doing one or two deals a month right now or 40, right? We want to help, help you grow and get that up as high as you can. And honestly, because the more business you do, the more business you're going to do with us, the more you're going to do it with Micah. And we're all going to, we're all going to win together. Um, but as you do, as you do that, that growth, right. How do we help you, you know, how do we help you with that overhead and cost effective, 
you know, way of doing your business. And I'm going to show you how there's a way at the end where you can literally have us work for you for free. So if you'd like that, definitely, you know, make sure you hang out just a bit. Um, and again, you know, for us, how we can help you, we do a lot of this. We did over 2,200 deals in 2023, right? And that was, you know, half, half, maybe 60% of what we're going to do this year. So I promise you, if you've ever done 2,200 deals or 2,000 deals, you're going to learn a thing or two, right? There are not going to be too many things that come up that are insurmountable for, for you. So you get to tap into that, that experience. And just honestly, at this point, it's just decades of closing and title experience that we can bring to, to basically to you and your company and to your, your buyers and sellers so that we can, one, get your deals closed quicker, get you paid faster, but give you back your time, right? Because that's, again, we love this business. I'm one of these people that I really, truly love real estate, but man, 14, 16 hours a day will burn you out pretty quick, no matter no matter how much you you love everything. So, you know, for us, what I want you to discover by the end of this is there is a painless path to, to growing your business, right? Um, and one of the ways is obviously you're, you're outsourcing and you're buying leads from US lead list, right? What, how much time would it take you to go down to every single courthouse? And even if you have only in three or four counties and do what Mike is able to do for you, right? It would take you a ton of time. Well, translate that. We're the, doing the exact same thing for you on the backside of your business, right? Could you learn to be a title expert? Yeah, absolutely. Of course you could, right? You can change your own oil. Is it the best use of your time? Probably not, right? You know, we don't, we don't help you in any other area of your business. We are specialists in what we do and we are the best at it. Um, and, you know, you can 100%, you know, bring us in and kind of partner with us and let us, you know, do that for you in your business, because that's going to, again, help you do more deals, close them faster, make them smoother and help you make more money. And ultimately, you know, one thing I hear from people all the time is, man, I thought I was lose, going to lose control over my deals. And you guys do so much of a better job that, um, you know. It, 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 you know, I have more control over this than, than before. And I, I have more of an idea of what's going on than I did when, when I was just sort of leaving it up to the title company. So um, lots of, lots of satisfied clients doing that, but listen, all of us, we all start in the same place, right? When I was just starting this, um, I have the same problem that probably a lot of you guys do, right? When you're, you know, you're out there juggling, you know, 14 flaming bowling pins, right? Trying to keep them all up in the air and not have them conk you on the noggin, right? Um, we want to minimize the costs of lost and missed deals. So what does that mean? So again, you know, I took my contract over to, to this, this title company, my attorney, we called it, his name was Jeremy, but we called him Dr. No, because everything with this guy was no, right. And, you know, if you can relate to that, tell me, right. It feels like every attorney gives you the most difficult answer ever. Oh, you got to go to court. Oh, you gotta, you gotta file all these things. You gotta do, do all this nonsense. And, you know, why is that? Well, because it's the easy answer for them, right? They don't have to invest any time in you. And so this is happening over and over and over and over again, right? Dead people, bad tenants, you know, probate, foreclosure, like all of these things. And I remember this distinctly, like as clear as day. I had just come from this, this old woman's house, you know, I signed her contract. She really needed to sell the house, like tore at my heartstrings. I'm like, I'm going to get this done for you. So I go down to first title on Chestnut Street here in Chattanooga and I go in, I'm like, Jeremy, I got this contract. We, you know, we need to get this thing closed. I've got a buyer already lined up. Like we're going to, we're going to be good. And he looks at, asks me a couple of questions. He's like, oh, you know, same nonsense. Oh, we're not going to be able to do this. It's going to take, you know, six months. You need to do this. You need to do that. I'm like, dude, come on, come on. I just left this lady's house. I told her we, we could help her. Like, there's got to be something that we could do. Like I'd had enough, man. I couldn't. I just couldn't take it anymore. And he's like, well, oh no. I'm like, dude, what would you do? If you were me, what would you do? There's got to be another way. And he sat and looked at me for a minute. And he says, well, all right, I guess if you can get this and this and this and two affidavits and this other thing, yeah, I guess we could close it. I'm like, are you effing kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me right now? I'm like, what about all those deals that we we tossed? Are you telling me there was a way? Well, you know, he didn't want to answer me and learned a valuable lesson that day, right? It's learning how to ask the right questions. And, you know, that's something that, you know, that I was able to use when we brought in our own in, in-house transaction coordinators. Um, but as we've grown, that's that's really like a guiding principle for us. A core value is, you know, 
we will always find a way. It may not be always the perfect answer, but there is always a way. And that's what you want working on your side, right? All of our coordinators are come in and they are trained to make sure, you know, we will leave no stone unturned to, to get these deals closed for you. So I don't want you losing those $70,000, $80,000 deals. I mean, I've got pages of testimonials where people are like, hey man, this $80,000 deal would have been absolutely lost if, uh, you know, if these guys didn't didn't come in and, and just have the answer, right? Because these are just the things that we do every, every day for, for, for our clients. Um, you know, working hard, having less time, you know, you know, my, my dad, when, when I was a kid, he, he tried to instill that in me, right? Like work smart, not hard boy, come on. And, you know, in the beginning, I didn't know that there was another way. I just thought, I just thought that was how it went, you know? Um, you know, right now I talk to clients after we've onboarded them and they've been with us for 45 or 60 days. Like that's the most common thing that Hannah, our client success manager hears is, oh my goodness. I didn't realize how much time this stuff was taking. Like I didn't, I didn't realize it because it's, you know, five minutes here, an hour here, 10 minutes there, an email, t -t -t a call, let me stop what I'm doing. Let me do all these things. And it really just eats up, it, it just eats up your time. And, you know, the second thing that we hear a lot is I didn't know somebody else could do this for me. I thought, I just thought I had to do it because that's what the gurus tell me, right? Just go find a title company and give them the contract. And yeah, yeah. Title companies are going to um, do your paperwork, but all the problem stuff, they kick back to you and say, Hey, go get a death certificate, you know, go, go file a monument of title, go, go get me, uh, all these affidavits of airship. Okay. I want you to, you know, gather up these documents like, yeah, the title company is closing it, but you're still doing all the transactions. You know, it's just, you know, it's a lot of work. It's just a ton of work. And we don't want you spending all your time doing stuff. That's not the thing you're good at. Right. One thing about entrepreneurs is we're all amazing at something. Every person on this call, every single one is amazing at something in your in your business, right? Like I'm really good at sales and marketing. That's my thing. I'm not great at running PPC ads through Google. I will be straight up with you. I do not have the attention span to do that. And, you know, I went to a buddy of mine to teach me and I knew 10 minutes in. Like at 10 minutes in, I knew that I was zero chance I was ever gonna run these, these ads. I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Um, so why would I spend my time doing that? It's not, it's not, it's not what I love to do. It's not my area of expertise. And, you know, the way that you grow your company is, is by doing the things that you love and the things that you're really good at, right? Spend your time there and bring in people who are absolute experts to do other stuff, like pulling, uh, like pulling lists for you. So, you know, the other problem, and this was a big thing for me when, when we went nationwide and back in 2015 is figuring out how to do deals in you know, all these different states, because there's 50 states out there. And in title world, some of them are title companies, some of them are, you know, attorney states, some of them are escrow states, some of them are some weird combination of, of the two, like, um, like California. So, you know, learning how to um, navigate all of that stuff, learning what the different timelines are. You know, if you go to New York, and you tell somebody you're going to close in seven days, I promise you it's never going to happen, right? Because that's a, an estate where they have dual attorneys. The buyer has to have an attorney. The seller has to have an attorney. And we all know enough about attorneys to say that, to know that they don't move quick. They work and get paid by the hour. So the longer they can drag stuff out, absolutely the better. And beyond 50 states, right? There's 3,500 something counties. Well, they all love to do stuff just a little bit different too, right? You go to Birmingham and you've got, um, you need to have a water water lien release thing before you can close. You go to other states, you need to have a rental inspection. Some other states need a municipal lien search. So, you know, do you understand what's going on in all of those states? Because if you don't understand how to close it, one, work it all the way backwards, it's going to affect, you know, the timelines that you put on your contracts. And, you know, the one thing that I've learned after 22 years is time kills all deals, right? So you don't want these things lingering out there and our sellers and buyers to have, to have bad bad expectations, you know? So anyways, and then, you know, kind of the last thing, and this was something that, that I struggled with and, and, you know, for a long time until I learned how to trust people was how to build a, pro a productive and efficient team, a well-trained team that, you know, is on your side and is working towards the same goal that you are working towards. And we'll talk about in a minute here, you know, how we, how we achieve that with our, with our coordinators. So, so why trust us? We want to move this along. Again, I've been doing this for over 20 years, done, you know, thousands of deals. I think it's somewhere over 1,600 wholesale deals, you know, all kinds of sub two and 
creative wraps and rentals and rehabs and that's all personal, that. That's uh, personally though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just me, only sixteen hundred. Um, but we've done over over three thousand files separately as our transactions company. So again, you know, what does that mean? Well, why is that even important? Because me as the owner of the company, first off, this isn't a little part-time gig. Like I'm, you know, no nobody here is like, you know, realtoring it on the side and you know, squeezing in your transactions, you know, when we when we when we can. Everybody in our office and everybody is here in the office, right? In Chattanooga, Tennessee. Nobody works remote. There's no VAs out there. Not that VAs are bad. We love VAs. We use them for marketing and spreadsheets and you know, data entry stuff, but um, you know, all of the people that actually get on the phone and talk to our clients, our buyers, our sellers, the mortgage companies, title companies, everybody is actually in here <clears throat> in our office. Um, you know, all of them are certified transactions coordinators. None of them, you know, interact with anybody until until we've certified them. And they're all just focused on getting your deals closed. Like that's it. Like every single person that comes in from our team leads all the way down to our coordinators, you know, every single person, you know, their their whole mission is um getting your deals closed. So again, just to kind of wrap it up here a little bit, you know, why easy? I want to help you do more deals. Really, that's nothing makes me happier than a client, you know, calling me up and saying, hey, I was struggling. I was doing two or three deals and then I would get busy closing them and I would go to zero deals and then I'd pop back up to four deals and then down to one deal. You know, we, we want to help you do more deals. We want to help you even out and steady your business. And when we do that, we can help you make more money and have more freedom. And I always tell people, they're like, well, what, what do you mean freedom? I'm like, I don't know, man, go sit on the beach in Puerto Rico, go, 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 go to Spain. But you can, you can walk out the door of your office or your house and know that somebody every single day is working on pushing these files forward and getting them closed so that you can be sitting on the beach, having a margarita with, with your partner and, and getting those, those wires dropped into your account. And that's how you start to enjoy your business, right? That's how we get back to why we got in this, right? It was to have that life, that lifestyle right? That's, that's what's important. Real estate's an incredible vehicle. Hopefully you love it as much as I do, but you know, it's provided a life for me that I'll be honest, I don't even know that I deserve sometimes. It's been really good. Um, and then overall, just, you know, we'll, we'll show you a couple, some things from a few clients here, but we just have a proven system that it just works over and over and over again. If you, you know, you, you trust in us, I promise you, we, we will deliver for you. So 2023, um, I was hesitant to put this in here, but, you know, I, I definitely just wanted to show you so that you can trust us, right? Because that's important. So 2,202 files handled in 2023. So that's a lot of files. We've seen a lot of things. What is that? That insurance? Is it Allstate or Prudential or one of them? Like we've seen a thing or two. We've seen a thing or two. There's there's no file that you're going to bring to us that we're like, oh, we don't know what to do. You know, really over time, after you see this many, it's sort of like the matrix, right? You can you can bend over backwards and the bullets just go just go right by you. And, and we're very good at anticipating what the title companies are going to need so we can so we can get these things closed faster. Um, so in 2023, $208 million in closings. Um, if you look down at the bottom, almost $29 million in profits generated for our clients. So that's a lot, right? You can you can definitely say that's a lot. I wish it was all mine, but it was not. It was our clients, and we're we're happy to have helped them. Um, and then the average assignment fee, $31,633 is, is our client's average assignment fee, right? We ran the numbers. Um, you know, that's the average. Some were big. Like we have some clients, our biggest one last year was 474,000. Um, but anyways, average assignment fee is big. The national average, you know, Mike and I are both in a group with, with, you know, some service providers and one of them did some some research last year and, and came up with the, the national average of $18,000 or $18,643 is the national average on assignment fees. So that's great for you. Like you should, like, you know, I'm not going to ask anybody to put their assignment fees in the, in the chat, but you know, are you above or below the average? All right. So it's kind of a good little benchmark for you, but remember that number, cause we're going to come back to it in a little bit, but why do like, why why is why are our clients higher? You know, almost what 40, 50 percent higher, 40 percent, 35 percent. Um, it's not because I'm signing their contracts for them and I'm not selling their deal for them. But what what do you think happens in your business when you get 30 percent of your time back, 25 percent of your time back? When all of a sudden you're not dealing with any of this stuff on the end, right? Title companies dealing with, you know, calling your clients back, your sellers, your buyers, you know, dealing with mortgage companies and realtors and all that stuff to, to get this thing through to the closing. You know, when you're not doing that, 
and you have your time back, what do you think happens? Well, you invest it in your business, right? So you're spending more time on marketing, spending more time with acquisitions, or if you have a team that's doing acquisitions, right? Coaching them up or, you know, working with your dispositions or, you know, learning how to, you know, do better marketing there, right? And all of a sudden that, that translates in your business. That's a big deal. Like you're, you're, you're taking a lot of your time and pushing it back so you can turn the right levers in your business. And, you know, 100%, it, it makes a difference. I mean, that's, if somebody else has a better explanation for that difference, I, I'd love to hear it. But that's, I mean, the numbers are, the numbers are the numbers. So if you're taking notes and you're writing anything, anything down, write this down. Easy REI closings is going to equal more deals, more money and more freedom. And again, freedom to work on your business or freedom to go on vacation. Doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, I'm just, we are 100% just here to help you grow your business and, and make your life a little bit better. So Sam Hopkins, I don't know if any of you know him, he's an investor out of Virginia, came to us in the very, very beginning when we started. And Sam, I love him. He is the young guy, aggressive, stereotypical. Like if you could pull pluck wholesaler out of the dictionary, he's the guy, right? Um, amazing, so coachable, you know, does everything that he's supposed to do. But what do we know about entrepreneurs? And I'm one of them, so, so I'm going to, you know, beat myself up here a little bit. We're really great at taking action, right? We love to jump out of the airplane and build the parachute on the way down. Absolutely terrible at paperwork, right? It's just not our personality type. It's not my personality type. And, you know, Eve Sam says, you know, hiring easy, of course, made it a smoother process, eliminated a lot of the paperwork and administrative tasks that came with each real estate deal. And what was he able to do? He was able to focus on going out and doing more deals and bigger deals. And you know, now he's buying hotels and apartment complexes and all kinds of crazy, wacky things. Um, but he was able to scale because in the beginning, you know, he had everybody sort of doing this fire drill, trying to close deals and find title companies and, you know, collect documents and do the other jobs they were doing. And it just, you know, at some point, those flaming bowling pins just start hitting you in the top of the head. And, and that's the stuff that just really crushes your business. And, you know, among that, like, challenges, right? Finding the investor friendly title company. Imagine having your dispositions person is the one that you've got tasked with doing transactions. Worst mistake ever, right? Because why? Because you hire based off personality type. Your your dispo manager is someone that wants to be on the phone and, you know, talking to buyers and kind of doing that tug of war. And then you're like, hey, stop doing that. And now do this paperwork administrative task. It's like, you know, literally turning 90 degrees and you know, now they're searching through Facebook, trying to find a title company in West Virginia, right? Like, let me, if you guys follow sports, we're in basketball season right now, go back to the Chicago Bulls in the 80s and 90s, right? When Michael Jordan was there, imagine going up to Michael Jordan going, hey, Mike, you got no game on Tuesday. Can you go up and do some, do some accounting and help them cut some checks? Like, that's dumb. Like, don't do that. Like, you, your, your A players should be out there, you know, on the field playing. Do not take them off the field to, to go do, to go do administrative tasks. Again, is, is TC work, transaction work important? Absolutely, 100%. But it can be done by, you know, somebody like us at a much higher level and then keep your, keep your salespeople on the phone selling your deals. And if it's you, like you are the last person that should be doing it, right? Because you have so many other things in your business that you're, that you're trying to take care of. It's just, you know, I don't want to say it's a distraction because it's very important, but it just eats up your time. And that's how I ended up working you know, 14, 16, 18 hours a day. And, you know, I will tell you that it's not great for your family life. It's not, it's not perfect. So, um, so yeah, so finding title companies, gathering up all the paperwork, running around, doing all that, that nonsense. Um, again, important stuff. It's what it takes to clear title, but not the highest and best use of your time. You know, all those emails that are coming from the title company. I used to get these emails, Micah, that would be like, it looked like freaking Greek. Like I would look at it and I could tell some, some processing clerk just cut and pasted what an attorney sent back. And it was like abstractor language. I remember this one time I, I spent maybe 15 minutes Googling every third word to try to figure out what this paragraph meant. Like, like that was not my specialty, man. I'm the chatty guy. I'm the, like, I want to be sitting in somebody's living room talking about how we can solve their problem, not learning what monument of title is, right? Or, or any of the wacky stuff, you know? And then, you know, again, should you be spending your time coordinating signatures and closings and notaries and all that type of stuff. No, no. We just did one the other day for a client it had 18 heirs and people who had to sign off on it. You want to talk about like, like we had to put two coordinators on that because that's such a big project, right? Like you talk about herding cats, stray cats, stray hungry 
feral cats was what that was like. Um, you know, we all, we talked about, you know, understanding the local laws and regulations and requirements and, you know, what is required, right? Do you know what's required if you dropped into Wisconsin tomorrow and wanted to start doing deals? Well, I promise you it's going to be different than Florida. It's going to be different than Texas, right? Um, you know, how to record memos and notices of contract. That's become, you know, very important and popular the last couple of years. And now there are some states that have regulations against it, where if you do it wrong, the penalties are stiff like really stiff in Tennessee. Um, I think it's like a thousand dollar a current, you know, the first time thousand dollars, like, and it goes up to $10,000 in a year in jail, right? Like there are certain things that, you know, you could do a couple of years ago that you just, you can't do anymore. And then, you know, we talked about lost deals, lost revenue. You know, if, if you're spending all your time doing these things, like, what are you not doing? Right. Cause the idea of multitasking is bullshit. I'm, I'm here to tell you, your brain can't do two things at once. You cannot be doing your transactions and spending time on the phone with your seller, right? Trying to solve their problem. And if you're running around collecting EMD checks and, you know, trying to figure out what the title company needs, are you spending your time selling your deal, right? So, you know, again, what happens when, when you're able to take that time and, and put it back into your business? And this is the perfect example for all of that. Alex Romanoff, one of our, our early clients, and these guys came to us and you'll see at the bottom there, they were doing 97,000 a month. Pretty good, really good, right? I remember when I was first starting out in wholesaling, I couldn't even fathom doing six figures a month, but these guys were doing 97, big team, really big team, 97,000, but they weren't making any money, right? And, you know, Alex, very kind to say, you know, 97,000 in revenue and easy was a huge reason why by the end of May, they were able to scale up to 750,000 in revenue in that single month. One month, man, one month of revenue, 750,000. I mean, think about that. Again, I, there, there were times early in my career as a wholesaler, I couldn't imagine doing that in a year. But why was it? Like, what was the reason? Well, they had a big team, but every person on the team was trying to transact their own deals. So what do you think that does to their productivity? Remember, Michael Jordan, Michael, you're going to write checks for all the people like the hot dog venture, the guy who sweeps the parking lot, you know, the guard at the at the gate, you know, like go go worry about getting all their checks figured out. Because what happens is when his dispo people uh, were running around and acquisitions, I mean, I guess he had everybody doing it. When they're doing that, well, what are they not doing? They're not getting new contracts. They're not selling their deal. They're not making sure that they're, you know, fighting to get the most for for, you know, for every contract. So that, there you go. I mean, this is an exact example of what happens when you know, you're able to bring somebody in, somebody like us, and outsource that. And now, now you can put all your resources back into your company. I mean, you're talking about moving the needle in, in some really big ways. So, you know, what's different about us? There are certainly 100% some small independent companies or one-off people that will, you know, handle a couple of deals for you. Um, but we're the only company that can serve you and has closed deals in all 50 states. The only one, happy to happy to argue with anybody out there. I've got the HUDs that, that show that we've we've actually closed all transactions in all 50 states. All of our team is here in the office. We're also the only people that can say that. And what does that what does that do? You know, two nights ago I was here a little bit late and I was talking to Angela, one of our team leads, and she was like, "Well, you know." Um, one of the newer girls, girls started about six months ago, you know, she heard that I closed this uh, foreclosure. I stopped this foreclosure, you know, like the day before, the day before, you know, it was going to the courthouse steps and she came over and needed to know how to do it for one of her clients. So I told her, hey, do here are the steps. Bup, 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 bup. And, you know, she went and she was able to follow those steps. Boom, stop the foreclosure, save the seller their house. Wholesaler was able to, to get the deal done and make a nice fat assignment fee. So that's what happens when you have everybody in office, kind of, we call it around the campfire, right? We get that sort of, that hive mentality and it takes, you know, everybody's experience and just like quadruples it, right? Because they're all here, they can all talk to each other and you don't get that through Slack. You're not going to get that, you know, when people are, are working remote. So we don't use VAs. Again, not for talking to clients, certainly for posting on Facebook and doing those types of things, but but never for for talking to clients or buyers, sellers, anything like that, because we want literally what we want for you is a turnkey, just done for you, white glove, you know, system. You know, I want, you know, the way I explain it to all of our new hires is put your white gloves on. And when our client gives us that contract, it's like a Fabergé egg. It is your job to carry that thing over the finish line. 
right? Because this is the story I, I example I use for them all the time. I said, listen, little Bobby in Phoenix, little Bobby, the new wholesaler in Phoenix has a $10,000 closing this month. It could be his only closing. You need to make sure this happens and it happens as quickly as possible, right? Because he's got a wife or a girlfriend, hopefully not both, you know, kids, VAs, car payments, rent, like all the, like these things have to close, right? There is, there's, there's no two ways about it. And the way that we make sure that happens is all of our coordinators are incentivized that when your deal closes, they, they get a little spiff. So, so they're very dedicated to making sure that, that your stuff gets over the line. Um, you know, how do you hold us accountable? How do you trust us? Again, going back to when, when I was, was first getting started, um, you know, so many people would come in and say, oh, we're going to have all these great systems for you, <clears throat> but no way for me to track it. So when Heather and I started the company, one thing we were very, very adamant about was making sure that there was something in real time where you could log in and see exactly where your deal was. All of the notes, who's touched this file, what's been done, um, you know, all the documents that have been collected that you've collected, I've collected, everything is in there so that, you know, you wake up at two in the morning and go, oh my God, what's going on with one, two, three Main Street? Boom, log in and you can see see everything that's happening, right? Because I want you to sleep well and not ever worry about, uh, about, about your deals. And again, to further that, the other thing that used to happen to me is I would take my contract down to the title company, right? And I'd give it to Susie and Susie would be like, I'm going to get to work on it. I'm like, that's great. And I'd call Susie two days later and she's like, oh, I had to transfer your file to Bob. I'm like, mm, I don't really like Bob, but okay. I call Bob and I get Bob's voicemail that says I'm out of the office for two weeks on vacation, but Steve has all my files. So now I'm calling Steve and I'm playing like whack-a-mole with people. And then Steve's like, oh, dude, I've got this whole pile of files. I'll get to it in the next couple of days and uh, I'll call you back. Well, what what do we understand? We talked about it earlier. Time kills all deals. We don't You don't have forever to be messing around out there. Let's get these things closed as quickly as possible. So when you give us a file, a coordinator gets that file and he or she is with that all the way till the end. So we don't have this like a learning curve every time you hand something off. Oh, I got to learn about this file. And it's the same person that talks to your seller, the same person that talks to your buyer, the same person that that gets a relationship going with, with the title company, right? Um, because everything for us is about time compression, right? How quickly can we go from the day you get this, you know, this contract signed to the day it closes, right? We're constantly trying to squeeze that in. And, you know, again, for us, you don't have to be a title expert. You don't have to learn what monumental title is. Google it if you want. It's not that exciting. But, you know, our team knows what all those things are. Those, you know, we literally, when we onboard people, we have like this dictionary book of, uh, you know, all these different weird, wacky legal terms that, that they all have to learn and understand. You know, we want to hold your hand through this process. But mainly, I want you out getting deals. Go out and talk to your next seller. Talk to your next buyer. Get those deals. Hand them off to us. Let us get them closed. And you go out there and, and let's make some more money. So Corey Geary, um, honestly, one of our very first, very, very first clients. Corey was actually the guy that sat down and was going to teach me PPC marketing because he's really smart. And uh, again, 10 minutes in, I knew I wasn't going to do that. But uh, Corey had a large coaching program for Novations. So we do probably more Novations than anybody in the country, thanks to Corey and all the, the clients that he brought us. Um, but Corey, again, very kind. You know, he's been with EZ for about a year and they've been an absolute game changer in our business. Not only do, under, do, do they understand how to do innovations and creative financing, but we do find the title companies that understand how to structure these deals in every market across the country. And what's new in 2024 is we actually opened our own in-house title company, which was an incredible amount of work for anybody that ever thought they'd want to open a title company. But the reason that we did that, again, is time compression, right? How can I get your deals closed faster? Well, if I have an in-house title company, my coordinators literally are walking down the hall, leaning into somebody's cubicle and saying, hey, where are we at with this file? What do we need? What do you need from me? How do we get this thing done faster, right? So we are continuously, like our whole company, we specialize in and we are built around closing your deals quick. But Corey talks here about, um, he was able to eliminate two positions in his company, which you know he basically paid two people $40,000 a piece because he outsourced that to us. So- what do we know? We know that the we do know that the average cost to acquire a um, a contract, a, a, you know, a deal is about three to four thousand dollars. Let's say it's four thousand dollars, right? So eighty thousand dollars that should give you twenty deals, and we know those twenty deals are worth about eighteen thousand dollars a piece, right? So 
I mean, you look at that, if you do 20 times, let's say, I don't even know the answer to this, 20 times, <laughs> 20 times 18643, 20 times 18463, that could put almost $370,000 to your bottom line. So these are the things that I've learned through mentors and coaching, like it's these small shifts that add dramatic value to, to your, your business, right? So anyways, you know, that very shift, you know, from him outsourcing that to us, he put that $80,000 back into his marketing. Who here, raise your hand if you'd like to put $80,000 back into your marketing. It makes a big difference. So, yeah. or buy more leads, you know? Um, so for us, again, features and benefits, we've talked about a lot of this already, but we are incredibly easy to, to onboard and implement. Um, I'm going to give you a, a QR code here in just a very a minute where you can you can book a call with us and, and get more information. I'm not going to ask anybody to buy anything here today. So I can put your credit cards away. Um, super low barrier of entry. You can literally have, you know, an expert team that did $200 million last year closing your deals. Like think of the power of that. The power of having that team on your side and talking to your clients and the level of professionalism that all of a sudden we're going to bring to, to your business, right? You're going to receive your own custom dashboard, that portal that we talked about. You have your one coordinator for every deal. You're never going to get, get your deals passed around. Um, I mean, unless somebody goes on maternity leave, right? Obviously there are a couple of exceptions, but, but ultimately I want to give you your time back. Right. And that's, that was the craziest thing for me, right? Because Honestly, and all the things that I gave up in my business transactions was one of the last ones. And uh, I remember, <laughs> in fact, this room where I'm sitting was actually the transactions office. And, uh, you know, I remember coming in here one day and asking Heather, I'm like, Heather, what, what was this $28,000 wire that went into the account? She's like, well, dummy, that was that deal, you know, one, two, three main street that you sold three weeks ago. I'm like, oh, shit, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> <laughs> because now I was able to be focused on, on working with my team and doing the marketing and dispositions. Cause that was the, the part of the business that I handled, um, you know, cause I had a partner back then, but that gives you your time back. That's going to help you close more deals. Closing more deals means more checks, right? And that's, that's what we all want. We all sat down in January. Hopefully we all did and, you know, set up a, uh, you know, made a little plan for the year and you know, goals and, you know, you know, all the things and, and hopefully, hopefully in yours was, was growing your company and, and getting more checks and ultimately, right. To live your dream life. The reason that we got into this business and your dream life may not be a private jet or, you know, a, a cabin in the, in the, you know, whatever that is, the Rockies, but whatever it is, right. If it was, you know, being able to zip out at lunchtime and go to your kids, you know, school to have lunch with them. Right. Or, you know, or to go on, you know, a cruise around the world or just whatever it was. Right. What was the reason that you got into this business? It was not just to, to do a million emails and figure out, you know, how to solve these type of problems. That wasn't it. I promise you, because nobody lures you into real estate by saying, hey, and you're going to get to jerk around with attorneys all the time and <laughs> solve, solve all of these problems and, you know, chase unruly heirs down and try to figure out who it is that's going to have to sign when your cousin's niece is twice divorced, third uncle got divorced, right? You know, it's, it's all that kind of, kind of wacky stuff. So, so man, I, I appreciate you guys listening to this. Um, easy REI closings, again, more deals, more money, more time, and, and ultimately, you know, more freedom. And if all we did, you know, we talked a little bit earlier that the average deal is $18,643. If all we did was helped you save even one deal a quarter, Right, because what we do know is forty percent of all um, wholesale deals die. Right, why do they die? Well, some are priced too high, but some of them, like with me, remember, you know, those files that I was throwing away, I just I didn't know how to work through the title process, and I called some local title company and like, oh, you can't do that; it doesn't work, or oh, that's illegal, or some some nonsense like that. But if all we did, go back to my calculator, if all we did was save you four deals a year, eighteen six forty three. That's almost $75,000 a year. I promise you, we are far cheaper than $75,000 a year. In fact, we're the price of what it costs to hire the, the guy who flips, you know, fries at McDonald's. I mean, I think probably cheaper than that now because they're all making 20 bucks an hour. But if all we did was it was helped you save a couple deals a year, would it be worth it? Yeah, of course it would. So, you know, I, we talked about this at the very beginning. You know, what if it was free? 
Um, one of the things that I figured out years ago from, from being at a mastermind, hopefully you guys attend those types of events, um, was I figured out how I could pass the cost of my transaction coordination off to my end buyer. So that's something, you know, I want you to book a call. I'd love to, to talk to you about how we do that. And a lot of our clients have actually turned transactions into a profit center. So yeah, are they paying us every month? Of course they are. But with what we showed them, what we'll show, our, show you when you become a client is um, how to do that and actually turn this into, you know, a money-making enterprise. So one, now you're, you're not going to have to hire somebody. You're not going to have to train them. You're not going to have to manage them. You're not going to have to do any of that stuff yourself. You're going to let us do it. Well, again, I have miraculously the most badass team of coordinators on the planet, and I'll, I'll stand behind that. But now you could turn it into a, a money-making enterprise. And we have some of our higher volume clients that, that make an additional 50 grand a year um, with what we've taught them. So they, they absolutely love it. So take out your phone, pull it out. I want you to scan that QR code. And that will take you to, should take you to a little page with a video of Micah and I at the top chit-chatting. And then underneath that video, there's a little blue box and it says book a call. And I knew we were going to have a ton of people on the call today. So I had my team open up some extra slots where they could, they could, uh, you know, have some time for you and yeah, let's book a call. And I know, you know, this is you guys listening to me, but you know, that call will be with me or my team and it'll be much more interactive. I want to, want to learn about your business and what you're doing and, you know, what did you do in 2023 or are you just getting started and what's your goal for 2024? And, you know, how can we help you? You know, we can, we can really dig in. I can show you the portal and we can show you how we can, we can help you turn this into a, you know, uh, you know, a profit center for you. And, you know, it doesn't matter what, what level you're at. If you're just getting started or you're doing 30 deals a month, you know, we, we have, we have certain levels for, for everybody, right? We understand that, I'm not going to charge a guy doing three deals a month the same as we charge a guy doing 40 deals a month, right? So, um, so yeah, so do that, scan that, and because I'm going to take it down here in just a minute, so I want to make sure that you get that done, and then yeah, let's. I'm, I'm, I'd love to jump on a call with you. So, guys, I think I'm early. I, I finished a little bit quicker than I normally do. I must have all that coffee I had for lunch, so I'm all jacked up on caffeine. So, guys, if you have questions, I'd love to answer them. If you have just general questions on transactions or how we could how we would do it for one of our clients, you know, our title questions, love to, love to answer them and do anything that I can. So either you could turn your mic off and kind of shout it out or do the right hand raise thing or whatever you want to do. Yeah. If you guys love logistics and paperwork. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. Don't come, come to us. I'm back. If you want a job, come to me. I will. We'll, <laughs> there it is. we'll take you. Um, as long as you want to move to Chattanooga. You know, it's interesting. People talk to me all the time. They're like, oh, what you do is the greatest. I'm like, yeah, like I'm pretty good at it, but my God, I couldn't sit around all day and do, I just own the company and hire amazing people to run it. Um, what they do is phenomenal, man. It's, it's unbelievable. And the level of detail that, that they put into, you know, making sure that these deals close is, you know, it's, it's fantastic. And I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, we've had so much, you know, so much growth over the, um, you know, over the last few years. Um, somebody asked about price. It depends on the number of deals that you're doing. So let's let's jump on a call and, and we can definitely talk to you about that. But I mean, again, at the end of the day, I'll show you how, you know, we can be free or, you know, even turn this into a profit center. Um, QR code doesn't work. QR code doesn't work. Oh my goodness. Does QR code not work, Stephanie? It did. It did? Okay, all right. Um, but yeah, if not, um, we've got the, we put the code into the, uh, oh, it worked for you, Mario. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, we've got the code here somewhere in the chat. I just, you guys are posting so quick. I keep losing it. Yeah. There's a little link up there. Oh, so, that link takes you, that link takes you to my site guys. Uh, we gotta, we gotta flip that, that link around. Oh, that's, it's not, that's, I sent Heather the wrong link. I got it. I got it. So we'll put the right one in there, guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is it. There you go. There we are. That's what happens when uh, you get too much stuff going on. And it, uh, all right, let's. David, you said you guys also do title? Yes. Mm -hmm. For all 50 states or just? Uh... We have, we, we handle probably the six or seven biggest states. 
And uh, then we have 400 partner title companies throughout the country. We have an exclusive deal with uh, with First American as well. So this is where that this is where that link will lead you to. And then you just book a call right here. So if you want to hear six more minutes of me and Micah, there, <laughs> there, there it is. Got it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. So about a year ago, we were maybe a man, almost a year and a half ago, we were coming back from an event. I was made the mistake of driving to Dallas from, from Chattanooga and we were on the way back, <laughs> Heather and I, and, uh, you know, we were talking about, you know, what, what else can we do to add more value for our clients? And, uh, you know, we're talking transactional funding, you know, mobile notary, all those things, which we now have, but, uh, you know, the biggest one was a title company because that's the the spot where things seem to always slow down the most, right? Because, you know, if I'm, and, you know, and again, we're faster than you're going to be, but still for us, you know, we're, we're always trying to, it's like putting GPS in your car and getting, you know, it's gonna be two hours and eight minutes to get to this destination. How do I do it quicker? So we're always very focused on, uh, you know, how we can solve these problems quicker. So anyways, yeah, we looked at it and we're like, well, can we open a title company? I mean, is that even a thing? And, uh, you know, we looked at it, we spent a couple of months researching it, and then we brought in a partner uh, for the title company that has years and years of experience. And uh, she was able to help us get it off the ground, kind <laughs> of quick, like within a year, which I guess is pretty quick for a title company. Um, but yeah, so we're very heavy, you know, in the Southeast, Texas, Florida, Tennessee, we're going into the Carolinas in the next probably month or so. And uh, and then we have a, an exclusive deal with with First American to help us handle the other states. New Jersey? Uh, not New Jersey yet. So what we did was we picked the states that had the highest closing volume for investors. So that was where we started. So, but no, we do deals in New Jersey all the time though, through, through First American and our partners. And you said transactional funding also. Yep. Yeah. We can set you up with transactional funding. Yeah. At 1%. So technically, I guess, one-stop shop. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're trying for, right? Like it, it on the title side or, you know, the, the closing side and essentially here's how it works. We take over from the moment you've got your contract signed. Think about it. Like you're kind of handing off a baton to, you know, to us in a relay race, right? Like I want you to go sit on the bench or, you know, go, go back and get your, get your next deal. So what'll happen is Jazz, you're going to give that contract to us. It's going to pop into our system and you're going, it's going to get assigned to a title company and to a coordinator. And we're going to ask you a couple of very basic things, right? Like what type of deal is it? Single family, multifamily, apartment, mobile home, whatever, right? And then what type of deal, right? Like really what's your exit strategy? Wholesale, self-purchase, novation, right? And the reason we asked you those two questions is because we're going to assign it to the correct title company in that area if it's not us, right? Because we understand that not all title companies are treated equal, right? Created equal. Some of them want to do wholesale, but won't do innovation. They'll do innovation, but they won't do sub two, right? Like it, it's a grab bag of, of what Double people... close also. Yeah. yeah, double close. Yeah. And some states will do pass-through funding still, but it's going away very quickly. Um, so if we can do pass-through funding for you, we certainly will. Um, but anyway, so we're going to assign it to that coordinator. And let's say it's Claudia, right? Claudia is going to call up Mrs. Smith. Hey, Mrs. Smith, I'm working with Jazz on your deal over here at 123 Main Street. Hey, I'm going to be your point of contact from here all the way till closing. So you're out. Go go do your thing, man. We're like, we're going to take care of it from here. So Claudia will continue. Hey, Mrs. Smith, so I need to I need to get a little bit of information about the property for the title company so I can get this paid um, just as quick as possible, right? Because we're always hanging that carrot over their head. Because what do most of them really want? They, of course, they want to get the deal done and they want to get paid. So then, you know, again, after doing 2000 deals, you know, we're very good at, you know, picking up on stuff like, oh, Mr. Smith is dead. Great. Well, that kind of triggers this whole new timeline of, you know, what is the information that we need to collect, right? Well, great, Mrs. Smith, we're going to need the obituary. We're going to copy the death certificate. And can you literally draw me a family tree so that I can see who it is that we're going to have to get to sign off on this thing, right? Or if it's a foreclosure, hey, great, how many days, you know, who's the trustee on the, the attorney trustee that's handling the, the foreclosure, right? Do you have a date? You know, well, you know, they understand how to ask for all those things and, you know, fill in the blanks so that, you know, we can get, we can get the deal closed. Now, if you call me and tell me foreclosures tomorrow, I'm going to tell you, you missed the boat on this one, right? Like, give me a week, man, give me a week and, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can, we can work some magic. Um, you know, here's the thing for us. Our goal, again, is to help you get these deals closed. So um, we're going to do everything we can. Our coordinators are going to do everything we can to, to fight through, you know, the kind of whitewater rapids that is that is the title world. But there are going to be times where it does have to go 
it does have to go through probate, right? There are a couple of states where it does have to go, but in those states, we're connected with attorneys who, you know, will do it as quickly as they can, right? Like Florida, we can get a simple one done in two to three weeks, right? We've got some great connections down there. Hawaii is another weird one. Like there are just certain states where you can't get the affidavits and you're going to have to do that. And those, those areas, we're going to come back to you and say, hey, you know, there's no way to do this quickly. Here's what we can do. We can connect the seller with the bankruptcy attorney, the foreclosure, you know, whatever it is, the, you know, the probate attorney. Um, and it, this is how long it's going to take, but we're going to stay in this deal with you. So here's what we would suggest, because this is the most common thing. Hey, let's get your seller. Um, looks like your contract expires in 20 days. Why don't you go put them on like a three or four, five month extension? Let's get your buyer and put them on an extension, right? And let us stay in the deal, communicating with everybody, working it all the way till the end. And again, you're, you know, I don't, I don't want you to lose your deal. Do some get, do we tell you some, you should just flush? Yeah, man. I was, I was on a call the other day with one and it was like, this guy had inherited like a landlocked piece of land in some podunk town. And like, he wanted 40 for it, but he you owed know, 40 in back taxes. And like, just sometimes it's just, you know, it's just, we'll just tell you, man, I don't know. You do whatever you want. I just don't know that this one's worth, the juice is worth the squeeze on this one. Um, you know, but if it is, you know, we're going to give you all the options to how to get it done. Most of the time it's quick, but there are times where legitimately like, hey, we do have to do this the hard way, but hey, here are the steps. You know, we've done this before and, and let us, you know, let us kind of navigate through this. So for heirs, for example, yeah, if we have a deal, uh -huh. yeah, we are still responsible to, if there's like four parties, we need to get all of them agreed, signed before we bring it to you. No, we'll do that. Usually you have one person that's acting on behalf of the estate. And as long as, here's what I tell people, as long as everybody's cooperative, man, we can, we can do some cool shit. I promise you. As long as everybody's cooperative, right? As long as everybody wants to get this thing sold and get it done. When you have 10 heirs and one estranged brother says, I'm not signing no matter what, because I hate my brothers and sisters. Happens. Not, not a lot you can do. There is something you can do. You can petition the title and close on nine tenths of the property and then take that guy to court and force him to sell. You know, but, you know, again, is the juice worth the squeeze? Sometimes, like sometimes it is. Um, but you know what, what happens a lot of times is you're the guy buying the house if you're the wholesaler. Right. So, so they're pissed off with you, but when we come in and we're this, you know, neutral third party, people are a lot more relaxed with us. They're not as angry with us, you know, cause you know, the sister's selling to you or some nonsense like that. We're like, Hey, you know, listen, we're, we're just here. We're working for the title company. We're working, you know, working with, you know, XYZ buyers, you know, LLC. And, you know, we're just here to coordinate the transaction and get everybody paid as quick as possible. And, you know, I mean, we just deal with that stuff all the time. Makes sense. Yep. Thanks. Think that would help you some? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Any other questions? That was great. Anybody? <laughs> no? All right. Well, Micah, that's that's what I got, man. If if nobody has any questions before we shut it down, if you haven't scanned that QR code, make sure you do it. Let's let's uh let's go ahead and get you on our schedule. And we'd love to, you know, we can do all that, like all those questions that you've got. If you're you're watching this and going like, are these guys really for real? <laughs> we'd love to, uh, we'd love to kind of pull the curtain back, you know, more on a one-on-one -on -one basis and, and really show you and, you know, see how we can, we can integrate in with your business and, and help you do more deals. Yeah. Thanks so much for presenting. It's a good show. Yeah. Uh, oh. It's like this hidden, just, you know, dumpster pit of the business that we all just deal with and slog through. It is, man. And that's, that's the one thing that I realize is like, nobody teaches how to do it. And cause there is no way to teach it because, you know, transactions is not a list. It's not some checklist. Like I could give you a checklist. Like it's, it's not going to help you. Right. Because you have to understand, well, what is, what does that mean? Right. It's like data, right. It's like analyzing data. Like, Oh, what does this mean? There's a dead person. Like you give that checklist to a VA they're going to, okay, dead person check. I'm like, okay, everything's good. No, everything is not good. I promise. <laughs> right. And then, you know, Oh, was there a will? Uh, yes or no, right? Well, that's a whole list, right? Was it probated? Yes, like like everything is like these, you know, everyone's an alternate reality that you have to you have to know how to how to navigate to to get it done quickly. And you know, can you figure it out on your own? Yeah, man, of course you can go. You know, I don't know, change the timing belt on your engine if you really want to, if you want to spend enough time on YouTube figuring it out. But is that the best use of your time? No, best use of your time is going out and getting more deals and and selling those deals and you know let us do the thing that we do every day and 
you know, we'll all make a, a ton of money together. So that's it. Rinse and repeat. Awesome. Rinse and repeat. Do it as often as you can. We've got some some clients that are absolutely crushing it. I got some numbers Monday, Monday, Monday afternoon on because we do quarterly. So we also communication is a big thing for us. Not only is it in the portal, but of course you can call, text, email, you know, your coordinators all the time. But you'll also get um, a weekly update email uh, every Friday afternoon of, hey, these are your 10 deals. You know, these six we're waiting on, you know, we have everything we need from the seller. We're just waiting on you to get your buyer. Uh, these three are closing next week. And this one has a problem that we've already talked to you about. And we do that because, again, like when I ran a wholesale business, I needed that for Monday morning reports. So you'll have that, you know, sometime Friday or Saturday, those those pop up. But also quarterly, we'll, we'll run the numbers for you and tell you, hey, here's where you're at. And, you know, if you want, you know, we'll tell you where you compare kind of to the averages and, and that type of stuff and where we think you might be able to, to improve a little bit. So, so you definitely get the benefit of, of a ton of a ton of data. Less than 1%. Oh, that must be, maybe the transactions are less than 1%. Yeah, anyways. Um, so cool. Well, guys, if you have no more questions, that's that's everything I got. Hopefully you all book, book some calls. I saw some popping up here. So um, yeah, we'd love to love to chat with you and help you grow your business this year. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Uh, all right, guys. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Go get some contracts. Let's do it. All right, take care.